So the Tundra's build and price tool is live over on Toyota's website. We have some rendered 3D models, the interior of the TRD rally package and more. So let's go ahead and break it down. I think a fun one to start with guys will be the SR5 because my very first third gen Tundra that I had was an SR5 TRD off-road package for a grand total price of $56,000. This truck only three years later is a bit more than that. So we have the SR5 Crew Max, five and a half foot bed. We have it in the ice cap color. We're gonna go ahead and come down here to the soft text interior, which you have to add the premium package to. I will go ahead and do that with the heated steering wheel because mine had a heated steering wheel. Go ahead, update our price, jumping up quick. Four wheel drive, another $3,000. Sure, why not Toyota? And then I also had the advanced uh, technology package for that and this also will add the TRD off-road premium package for us as well and you will notice unfortunately some of these renderings like the interior and both the exterior of this particular model aren't exactly accurate yet however we do notice right that the interior now for SR5 models pretty much all models are going to have a black headliner, which is a thing that a lot of people really did want uh, the Tundra to finally have. So we're gonna finish our build, bringing it to $60,000. And here's the window sticker of mine at 56.7. Now this one at $60,000, just three years later, which is pretty freaking crazy. But another thing that I wanted to tell you guys is Terra is also coming back. So if we get out of here, nope, don't wanna remember this. Uh, Terra is coming back for all TRD models. So it will be on TRD off-road for the SR5, Limited, Platinum, and 1794. So let's go ahead and build up a Platinum. Uh, we will go ahead and do it with a six and a half foot bed because I wanted to show you guys if you want to do a six and a half foot bed, you have to do a four wheel drive model. So we'll go ahead and update that. Boom, we get a nice longer bed. And you will see down here, if you want to select Terra for your Platinum, you have to add the TRD package. So keeping that color somewhat um, kind of uh, limited, right, on just TRD models. So we'll go ahead and put the TRD package on. You can saw the difference in this price here, $6,100 but that is because this includes the three inch TRD lift kit. So we'll go ahead, add Terra onto it, and that is what a Terra Platinum looks like with the TRD off-road package. To be completely honest, not that bad. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of Terra when it was on the TRD Pro model, but for some reason on this Platinum, it actually looks pretty good. No real changes on the interior of the Platinum aside from it getting standard massaging seats now, which is pretty cool. Go ahead and get out of this. I want to show you guys the rally package now for the SR5. So we'll go back into the SR5. We're gonna do a crew max. In order to get the rally package, you have to click four wheel drive. So we're just gonna go all the way down here to the bottom, select four wheel drive. It'll populate more options. And then as we scroll down, you will be able to see the rally package eventually where you at, holy crap, so many packages, boom, there we go. $8,600 for this package, but we'll go ahead and equip it. Yes, update. This truck will just be shy of $60,000, but here's a close look at the full TRD rally package. Essentially, it's a TRD off-road premium SR5, right? Because it's the same wheels, what is nice though, is that it is color matched around the front and also the back. I do wish though that it had the TRD grill at least on it, uh, but they don't. But the inside, we got graphics here for the inside. So kind of TRD Pro-esque, right? With this TRD steering wheel, 14 inch screen, all blacked out interior. You have the kind of heritage racing stripes right there on the little part of the dashboard right above the shelf. TRD shift knob, but the seats guys are actually pretty cool. So I thought in the press release or just the photos that we got, it was just gonna have normal uh, pinstriping down here. I didn't really see the inside pinstriping and I'm not sure if this is just, you know, more um, kind of extravagant than it should be just because this is kind of computer generated, but look at that. So we have heritage stripes in the middle 
honestly, which is pretty cool. I, I like that better than all the stickers that they kind of just put on it on the outside. A, a lot of these just kind of seem a little out of place, honestly. Uh, the one in the back looks cool, and then I guess the one on the side, but it should have been a little bit darker out uh, here. But the interior of it, man, you got the piping right there and right there, TRD steering wheel. I think it looks pretty awesome. We'll go to the 1794 because there was a change also on the 1794. We'll go ahead and build it up. Again, you could put Terra on this one as well if you do the TRD off-road package. So you're gonna have a choice of Terra uh, and also um, having the uh, TRD off-road package on it. So we'll go ahead and just load this one up to $75,000. So here's Terra on the 1794. And it looks a little bit different than if you were to go with a smoked mesquite. Terra load up, I guess, honestly. Oh, what, what happened? This configurator did just come out today, guys, so it may be a little wonky for those uh, trying to do stuff, but interior has not really changed. Again, soft tech seats, are, uh, sorry, massaging seats comes to the 1794. We'll go ahead and try to load it up again. Uh, we'll just go ahead and try to zoom it in here without messing with stuff. So you see here on the tailgate of this vehicle now, it has 1794 right here on the tailgate versus it saying Toyota all the way across. So kind of like what the uh, limited edition did last year. Um, it's just gonna say 1794 now across on the tailgate. Last thing we gotta see, of course, mud bath. So TRD Pro colors are ice cap, mag gray, and midnight black metallic. Uh, mud bath, I don't think that we could do soft text interior. No, we can't. We have to change it to midnight black, mag gray, or ice cap. I think that's a miss, honestly. Uh, I know that the pro colors in the past, like the quote unquote exclusive colors, are only with black interior, uh, but that's because it was Terra, that would have looked terrible, haha, <laughs> with a red interior, and Solar Octane, that would have looked terrible with a red interior, but Mud Bath, I think it would have looked good with a red interior, but we got the Mud Bath, we'll do the black, and we can take a hopefully quick look at it and it does not go away on us. But mud bath, it's gonna look good on the uh, Tundra TRD Pro for sure. Ooh, guys, what do you think? Just wanted to do a quick video for you all. You guys can go over to Toyota's website, build up your trucks if you guys want in the uh, with the link and uh, you know take it into your dealership. Try to get one somewhat close to that allocated for you because Toyota does not do build to order trucks. That is one thing that this brand lacks versus other brands where you could pick your exact truck and then go ahead, take it to your dealer and they could build it. Whereas Toyota is more of an allocation based kind of company. So you could get it as close as possible, have a dealership, try to find one like that for you on allocation, and then you could hopefully get your truck. But guys, I appreciate you all watching and I will catch you in the next one. All right, see you later.